Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to look at how to sum the values by a weekday. So I've got a typical list here with some dates and then some values that would mean something and in cell E2 I would like to find the total of those values but only for a specific day of the week. So to do this, we need to use a function called weekday. And the task of that function is to find out what the day of the week is for a specific date. And then we'll be able to use that in a condition and sum the right values. So firstly, if I can just quickly demo the weekday function in column G here. So this is weekday, uh, returns a number from 1 to 7 that identifies the day of the week. So if I reference a date and put in a comma, it provides this list so that we can specify what a typical week is for us. And for this video, I'm just going to use the default. So I'm not going to bother with this question. And the default is the first one, this number one, where number one references a Sunday through to seven for a Saturday. And let's imagine that I want to sum the values that occur on a Saturday. So you can see in cell D2, I've got seven written in there, and that is why. That is Saturday, but this can be changed. So let me ignore that question. And if I press enter, that tells me that that date is number three, um, which would be Tuesday. <laughs> One is a Sunday, two is a Monday, three is a Tuesday. And if I copy that down, I get a number for all of them. So I can see that this date, uh, this date, and this date, are the Saturdays. And if I was to select those, down the bottom I can see the total is 1337. 1337 is the total of those three numbers and they are the Saturdays. So that's what we'll be ultimately looking for in our answer. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Now I'm going to use the sum product function, which I'm sure a lot of you know that I, I love very much. And the reason we need this is because we're creating an array formula. Unless I leave that column there and then reference that column in my formula, I could do that and I could use a sumif function instead. But ultimately, I'd rather not have this helper column there. I'm only doing it for visual for the video right now. Um, nobody wants it there. <laughs> so if I can write it all in one formula, that would require an array formula and some product allows us to use that without the need of control shift enter. I wouldn't be able to just embed weekday within some if. You have to write it as two separate formulas. So within some product, um, we've got an array, and if I open up my bracket, this will be the weekday function, and I can reference the whole range of cells because it's an array formula, and close off weekday, and then test if it's equal to seven. So I can either type the value straight in, is it equal to seven, is it equal to four, or as mentioned, I'm going to reference the cell D2. It's equal to that cell, because then people can change that number. I'll then close off the bracket for this array and multiply it by the values that I want to sum, column B here. And if I close off that bracket and press enter, I'll get 1337, which is the number that we were looking for. And if I was to change the number in that data week cell, that would just change and show me what the values is. What's the number two? That was a uh, Monday. Nothing happened on Monday, apparently, in this list. <laughs> or that, or uh, a Friday. Uh, back to Saturday and our 1337 that we were expecting. So I know what you're thinking here. You can't expect somebody to type in these numbers that represents a day of the week. That's not very user friendly. I'm finding it quite difficult in this video and I'm expected to know what I'm talking about. Um, so I just want to delete this column because it's, it's kind of frustrating me a little bit being there. And let's look at something a little bit more advanced. Let's think about getting rid of that seven uh, and having somebody being able to enter the day of the week like Monday in there. Or even better, let's give them a drop down list. So let me just start by creating a quick little lookup table. And a number, 
Let me just turn those bold because I do like bold headers. And I'm just going to put Sunday in here and copy that down to Saturday. And I'm going to put number one in here and I'm going to copy that down to seven. So I've got myself a quick little lookup table. And as we've already been speaking about, Saturday seven, Sundays are one, etc., etc. And then in the day of the week cell, I can quickly create a drop down list with the data validation feature. I can use these days of the week here. And now I've got a little drop down for a day of the week. And we can get our sum product function to run directly from that. That'll be pretty cool. That's a lot more user friendly than typing in numbers. Now, once again, uh, this, this lookup table is only here for the purposes of this video so that we can see everything that's going on in one sheet. Um, ideally, that would be on a different sheet and that would be hidden. Nobody wants to see it right next door to the like, clutter in the report. But here is our sum product function. I might as well go into the one I've, I've already got. But where we have weekday, column A, is it equal to D2? Well, D2's got a Saturday written in, so that's not very helpful. Weekdays return numbers. So I tell you what, why don't we dump in a little VLOOKUP? Who doesn't love a VLOOKUP, eh? And why don't we look up the value that was selected in this lookup table on the right and return the value from column two, which is the number, and then put a zero to indicate it's a false and exact match. And I'll close off my VLOOKUP. And now when I run it, I get 1337 again. And people can just use that drop down list to choose what they want, Thursday, etc. And it's nice and user friendly. People can't enter the wrong values. It's also fast. And it's just putting, piecing together these formulas that we, we hear of or we use, like VLOOKUP, some product, weekday, to get what we want. And that is just a nice way that we can sum the values by a weekday. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.